Shalom. I want to give a praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemahal Shai by Shemrakah Kadash and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Thomas Truth and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. And um, as you can see, he says increased UFO reports on aliens, but Earth is still unprepared for an alien invasion. And literally, I read a few paragraphs and. <laughs> This guy is heavily misinformed. You know how it's be with misinformation. This is a whole load of misinformation. And it's clear to me that the guy who wrote this article, he doesn't know that the Lord's coming back with a host of angels and with these vehicles. And it says, um, if aliens actually invaded Earth, the United States would be ready. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. The United States would be ready. That, that's what he says. <laughs> oh man. And you can, I already know I already know this is an Edomite. Who, who else would be so proud to, to boast themselves against Yahweh by Shimaho Shai? Only a foolish Edomite would do that. Cause after all it, it makes mention in um Second Thessalonians that they believe themselves to be gods, they believe themselves to be greater than Yahweh by Shem Shai. and I can be mentioned. You know what? Let me get it. Second Thessalonians two and three. Yeah, it says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come and set the corner come falling away first, being the falling away of the sons of God, being the twelve tribes of Israel." And it says, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition being the wicked. And it says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, all that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And literally, they're prideful, man. Literally, they're prideful. And because the earth has been given into their, the power of their hand, and that they have um, power over this earth, they're, they're lifted up, man. As he makes mention in the, the Psalms as well. Psalms 73. Yeah. Psalms 73 and 3. And it says, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, being Esau, Edom. And it says, For there are no bands in their, in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. And the reason why is because they have power of the earth. They come up with the laws. They make the laws. They can do whatever they want. Because the power is in their hand. And it says, Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. So you see, because the Lord has given them power on the earth. And given rulership over the earth. Therefore pride has compassed them about as a chain. And violence covers them as a garment. Hence why they speak so proudly. And another reason why they, they can just go into other people's lands and do whatever they want. But um, yeah. Continuing on. It says as far back as the 1985 Geneva summit, the US and Russia agreed to set aside their differences and join forces in case of an alien invasion. There are those working in the US military who believe the Pentagon actually developed a plan if that ever happens. And no, Russia and US are not going to join forces because literally the law is going to come back in the midst of the of World War Three. Literally when those nukes go off, that's when the law is going to return, man, and show his appearance. So just before America gets destroyed, the law is going to be, be there, man. The Lord's going to be there and waiting. And he's going to send his angels with the sound of a trumpet to go gather them, man. Because like it's mentioned, um, I think it's Luke. Luke 12 and 49. Yeah, it says, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? So yeah, man, and that's, that fire that's already going to be kindled is World War Three, that war. Literally, 
the Lord, Yahweh Shai is going to return when those missiles are fired off, man, those ICBMs. That's when he's going to make his return and he's going to gather his elect. That's why he talks about... Um, Yeah, First Peter 4 and 18, it says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? <laughs> and yeah, man, literally before those missiles hit, the Lord is going to have his angels ready to beam up his elect. And like it made mention, scarcely be saved. So you could see the missiles coming and the Lord could just try your faith there and then. And if you be of the elect, you're not going to... um lose hope man you're gonna keep believing <clears throat> and the angels will beam you up man and then bring you to your house share yeah <laughs> and it says aliens are invading but the reports of unidentified flying objects in sensitive airspace have increased especially in sensitive areas according to a declassified report from the pentagon's or the main anomaly re re resolution and you notice these vehicles they appear mostly in america and why is that because it's the sinful kingdom man the eyes of the lord being the eyes of the lord being um the angels and the reason why america has the most appearance of um of these chariots is because it's the sinful kingdom Yeah, this is Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. So you see, the eyes of the Lord being the angels, man, being his ministers, and they're literally appearing in america because that's the sinful kingdom that's the land that's going to be destroyed man <clears throat> and where was a uh... oh yeah and that's another thing about the the word aliens literally all it means is a foreigner a foreigner or a stranger and that's exactly what you how bashim how shy is man yeah, cause like I mentioned here, it says um, it says um, strange foreign. Uh, let me keep reading. It says, Latin alienness of all belonging to another, not one's own foreign strange. <clears throat> and let me read down. Oh look, it says the meaning residing in a country not of one's birth. And it says wholly different in nature. Oh, look at that, man. It says the meaning not of this earth. That's beautiful, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Because I'm sure you have a shy made mention of that. Yeah, here we go, John 8 and 23. And it says, And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of, ye are of this world, and I am not of this world. So so you see, the Lord is not of this place, man. <clears throat> his, his habitation is in the heavens. And when the Lord comes down, He's literally going to make the earth a paradise, man. He's literally going to make the earth a paradise and literally the heavens is going to mirror down here on earth. So literally earth is going to be a reflection of the heavens or where the, or the Lord's dwelling place. <clears throat> and that's when Yahweh Shai comes back into power, man. So yeah, man, the, the, Lord is, the Lord is not of this place. He's a stranger to these people, to the hopeful elect. Yahweh Bashim Shai isn't a stranger to them. Why? Because Yahweh Shai knew them before they was in the before they was even formed.
Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5, it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And although this is talking about the prophets, but that's also um, his elect. The, the, Lord, the Lord knows his sheep, man, as it makes mention in the book of John. Like it makes mention in John 10. And 25. It says, How shall I answer them? I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. And the reason why they didn't believe is because they're not of his sheepfold. They're not of his sheep. They're not of his flock. They're not of the part of the let. And it says, but ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So you see, Yahabashai knows who his sheep are, he knows who his elect is. And it says, um, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. So there you go, man. There you go. And just like he makes mention, how Shaiva made mention of this. Yeah, Matthew 15 and 24, it says, but he answered, you know what? Let me let me click on it. No, let me go on this one. Ah, here we go. Matthew 10 and 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, being the, the heathens, the natural heathens, and into the city of Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand, and ye are not to their let, man. The lost sheep of the house of Israel are their let. <clears throat> and they're chosen, man. So carrying on. <clears throat> yeah, and it says aliens are invading, but the reports of unidentified flying objects in sensitive airspace have increased, especially in sensitive areas, according to a declassified report. From the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, the objects were mostly balloons and sky garbage that created safety risk in those skies. It's probably a good thing they aren't aliens, because our world, because Slokia, because our would-be Russian allies aren't ready for interstellar war. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <clears throat> Here it is. The dude says, the US is ready for interstellar war. But Russia isn't. Come on, man. You can't even defend against Moab. You can't even defend against Moab, let alone Russia. <laughs> and you see, there goes that pride, man. There goes that pride. And it says in 2013, the head of Russia's aerospace defense force um, was asked whether the country's space troops were prepared for an alien invasion. And you see... Why do they have space troops? And why do they have space forces? And it's because they know <laughs> that Yahweh Shai is going to return, man. In those chariots, man. They know. And they're preparing for it. But you really can't prepare for the Lord, man. Because the Lord's far out. Both Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. As the scriptures may mention. Ecclesiastes 43 and 30 says, When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For you can never go far enough. So you see what I mean? You can't prepare. Here it is, you think the Lord's at his limit. Nah, the Lord can go even further and beyond. <clears throat> and that's what these Edomites don't understand. But they're going to they're gonna find out when the, the Lord returns with 
with the um with the clouds, with the chariots, with the host of angels being the army of angels. They're gonna find out then that they can't do nothing. <clears throat> and it says um during the press conference at the Titov Main Test and Space Systems Control Center near Moscow, Deputy Chief Sergei replied that Earth's defense wasn't their mission. <laughs> <laughs> and that's funny because Russia's mission is to destroy America. That that's their mission. <clears throat> and it says so far we are not capable of that. We are unfortunately not ready to fight extraterrestrial civilizations, he explained. Our center was not tasked with it. There are too many problems on Earth and near it, you see. <clears throat> their focus is on America. <clears throat> As it makes mention in Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51 and 11. It says, Made by the arrows, gathered the shields, the Lord Yahweh, Shema Hoshai, have raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh, but Shema Hoshai, the vengeance of his temple. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, the Lord have raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes to execute judgment upon America. Which the spirit of the king of the Medes is the Russians, man. <clears throat> and it says Russian, Russia's aerospace defense force was created in its current form in 2011 to control the country's missile defense systems, strategic air warfare, and control of outer space, especially satellites. There was only about 1,000 soldiers assigned there in 2013, now fighting in Ukraine. The force is either dominating the skies over Ukraine or is a good supplier of scrap metal to the Ukrainians. Our long-time allies for earthly combat are equally unprepared, although British defence experts agreed the Prime Minister would call together a special war cabinet. They were unsure of what the outcome of that meeting might be. As of 2017, Britain's Ministry of Defence had no plans for imminent alien invasion. And it says you might find it useful to note that the MOD does not have any expertise or role in respect of the existence of otherwise of extraterrestrial life forms, the New York, the New York Post reported. Using publicly available documents and YouTubes, the infographic show recreated a possible alien attack scenario if it came down to the United States fighting aliens alone. It could be in pretty good shape. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. <coughs> wow. What a, what a prideful devil. Here it is. He's saying if, the, if it came to fighting a war with you, how would share? A war with you, how would share in the host of angels? That they'll be pretty good by themselves. Meanwhile, the scriptures may mention that an innumerable multitude is going to be gathered together and make war with the Lamb and it's going to utterly destroy them. <laughs> Literally. Second address 13 and 49. It says, Now when he destroyeth the multitude of the nations that are gathered together, he shall defend his people that remain. So you see, it's not just going to be the US, it's going to be multiple nations that are going to try and fight against the Lord and he's going to utterly destroy them and waste them. As it makes mention down here in 2nd Andrews 13 and 10. Actually, no, let me start at 9. And it says, And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he never lifted up lifted up his hand, nor how saw, nor any instrument of war. And the reason why is because he was sitting comfy in his chariot. He was sitting in that throne-like seat. <clears throat> and he's going to give the order, man, for his chariot to destroy or release that concentrated fire. And it says, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth being the mouth of the chariot, as he had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And literally, you gotta remember these chariots or these vehicles, they're one with the angels. And just like um <clears throat> just like these terrestrial bodies, we have this body, this shell, 
but it's the spirit that controls these bodies. So imagine the same thing with um with, with the chariots, the spirits being inside, being the angels, and the chariot being their body. <clears throat> so when he opens his mouth, it's opening up the 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 weapon system for the chariot man and that fire that concentrated fire is gonna come out the mouth of the chariot and basically waste away the multitude of those nations that were prepared to fight so yeah let me carry on and it says but only i saw the sent out his mouth as being a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests and they were all mixed together the blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up every one so that upon a sudden of a newborn multitude nothing was to be perceived but only the dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid so you see literally a prideful devil man this this, this guy who wrote the article a prideful devil it's clearly a prideful devil you know let me read it again man it says if it came down to the United States fighting aliens alone, it could be in pretty good shape. What? Well, <laughs> oh man! It says years of preparation for nuclear war with the Soviet Union created one of the most resilient nations on Earth, one that might be able to retaliate against an alien first strike. No, you're not going to be doing that. You're not going to be doing that, man. These Elamites are so prideful. So prideful. Isaiah 34 and 2 says, For the indignation of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai is upon all nations, and the fury and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them, he have delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be mounted with their blood. And you see, the Lord's going to utterly destroy them. It's, it's, it's evident. It's clear as day that the one who wrote this article was an Edomite. And it says, though the video makes a lot of assumptions, America's most likely plan is to make the invasion so costly for the aliens in terms of manpower and resources. <sighs> Literally, one angel alone could finish off America and destroy all the arm armies. Just one, one angel. And the Lord's coming back with the host of angels, man. <clears throat> yeah, Matthew 24 and 30, he says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why? Because, like it makes mention, Isaiah 66 and 15. And also in Revelations, not Revelations, Revelation 1 and 7, it talks about all kings of the earth shall wail because of him, even so a man. And that word wail going into crying out with grief. And the, the tribes of the earth are going to mourn because the Lord's coming with, um, with his chariots like a whirlwind, man, and like a fire. And coming with flames of rebuke, man. Those chariots are going to be issuing out those concentrated laser beams, man. That concentrate fire. <clears throat> As he made mention in um, second address, chapter 13. He said that they were all mixed together, man. To create one element. And it says, um, And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So you see... <clears throat> you know, let me go to Daniel 8 and 25. Daniel 8 and 25, and it says, And for his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall mag magnify himself in his heart. And you see, there's that, there goes that pride again. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So you see, Men that come to fight against the Lord, you how shy, they're going to be destroyed, man. So this guy is prideful, man. About manpower and resources. <laughs> the angels can literally create these things. 
So literally, you finished on manpower and resources. They can literally just create the stuff. They can create elements. There, there, there is no limit. There is no limit on their, on their resources. <laughs> Crazy, I see you don't mind, man. It says that they won't be able to con complete a total invasion. <sighs> the United States will make the best use of of its own manpower and weapons to bleed the aliens before they the invaders inevitably destroy us. But that's not going to happen. As the scriptures say, you shall be utterly destroyed. <clears throat> but they can't destroy all... <laughs> Uh, but they can't destroy all of us. Humans will rise from the ashes. And you see, oh my, that's how you know this is an Edomite. That's how you know this is an Edomite. The spirit bear witness that this guy is an Edomite, man. Let me read it, man. But they can't destroy all of us. Humans will rise from the ashes and rebuild. And if aliens come back, they'll have a surprise waiting for them. And let's go, let's go to the Malachi, man. Let's go to the book of Malachi. All praises to you, how Shem, how shy, man. See, the Lord's word is speaking. <clears throat> the Lord's word is speaking, man. Malachi 1, and let me start at 1. This is the burden of the word of the Lord, how Shem, how shy, to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, how Shem, how shy. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, how Shem, how shy. Yet I loved Jacob. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we're impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. <laughs> and let's see what this guy says. Humans will rise from the ashes and rebuild. That's a that's an Edomite thing, man. That is an Edomite thing. And it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh Mashimah Shai have indignation forever. So there you go, man. There you have it. There you have it. Esau Edom's finished. You know what? Let me get this, man. Let me get this. Because this guy seems to think when the law comes back, they're not going to turn into, into females and be little bitches in that day. This is Jeremiah 49 and 22. It says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra, being his chariot. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. So there you go, man. Esau Edom's finished, man. These Edomites are done out here. <laughs> I want to give all praises and honor and glory to the everlasting power, man. Our power, the power, and the God of Israel. The God of Israel also to say the power of Israel. Yahweh ba Shimahaw Shaiman and praise that name daily, man. Praise his holy name daily. Because his name alone is excellent, man. You know, let me get that scripture. Yes, Psalms 148 and 13. I'm going to close out on this. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord Yahweh ba Shimahaw Shai. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. So there you go, man. Give glory unto that holy name. That separate name. That's And that's what holy means, separate. This name is different to other names, man. This name holds power, man. So call upon it and believe it. That's the name, man. Believe. That's the main thing, believe. But yeah, I want to give all praise and glory to you. And shalom.